Hello guys, Rob here. Block 1 and the SEC reach a settlement. Under this settlement, Block 1 will pay a one-time fine of $24 million while neither admitting nor denying the SEC's findings. The settlement relates specifically to the ERC-20 tokens sold on the Ethereum blockchain during the EOS ICO from the dates of June 26, 2017 to June 1, 2018. And it will not require the token to be registered as a security with the SEC. The SEC has simultaneously granted Block 1 an important waiver so that Block 1 will not be subject to certain ongoing restrictions that would usually apply with settlements of this type. So I am not a legal expert and this is not legal advice, but my takeaway from this is Block 1 is paying a one-time fine of $24 million for the ERC-20 EOS token sale and will not be required to register the token as a security with the SEC. And Block 1 has been granted a waiver by the SEC, so Block 1 will not be subject to certain ongoing restrictions that usually apply with settlements of this type. Those are the three things that stick out to me. And again, I am not a legal expert, and this is not legal advice by any means. So to me, it all sounds good for EOS. A $24 million fine, which is less than the cost of the $30 million Voice.com acquisition. They paid more for a domain name than they have to pay to the SEC to settle with them. Block One will not have to register their token as a security, and they've been given waivers for ongoing restrictions. If you're a legal expert and something in this is negative for EOS or Block One, please let us know down in the comments below. Uh, but from what I'm reading here, it seems like a win for EOS and a win for Block One. Now, hopefully, Block One can get on to developing and bring us voice and other projects they have instead of worrying about what the SEC is doing. And it seems like an all clear from here. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I will make an update video if anything else on this comes out, but as of now, it looks like go EOS. So that's it for this quick one, guys. I'll leave a link to this announcement down in the um, description below. Just came out 1st of October 2019. Oh, very fresh news here. And again, I'll make another video if anything else on this comes out. Uh, Telos Rex is now over 50 million TLOS staked into Rex. Bringing the 30-day just over 2.1% and the yearly 25.5% almost percent there for Rex stakers at this time. So that's a quite sizable chunk of TLOS tokens staked, locked up in Rex liquidity at this time. If you want to learn more about Telos or don't have an account yet, you can pick up a free one. Check out the link in the description. This message on Telos is brought to you with the support of the Telos community via the worker proposal system. But that's going to do it for me for this quick one. I will see you guys in the next one.